Hello, everyone, and welcome to the celebration launch for Little People Big Emotions. And for those of you who don't know me, how dare you? How do you not know me? But my name is Karen McDermott, and I am the proud publisher of this book. And today I have the amazing Tina Morton, who is the illustrator of Little People Big Emotions. Welcome, Tina. Thank you, Karen. Great to be here. So, Tina, this is the second book you have worked on alongside us, and um, you had the joy of working with the Duchess of York for a, the the new newest budgie book, and then um, the amazing Tina Morton for Little People, Big Emotions. What has the process been like for you, Tina? Uh, it was with this book when I um, when I got the text of the book, I liked it straight away. <laughs> Thought it was uh, it was uh, but it was a bit challenging too to think how to bring all that life into you know alive into um into through pictures um yes. so i usually start with um sketching like um mini uh, thumbnail size scenes just to map out how it all works um mm -hmm. to get that difference between you know one page you have a larger scene then you've got smaller scenes things like that and then i move um actually i can show you yes um, please and then, what a treat. And, then move, <laughs> and then i move on to um uh putting it onto pages i'm not sure if you can see yeah, it a little, a little, yes we yeah. see we see like Amazing. this so that it's so i can see how it looks um when i um it's a double page spread when, when yeah. it's in a double spread yeah and then after that i'll go and um and and to the actual uh, artwork um so it's there's a fair bit of planning and research involved you know and um yes. and with this book carly sent me some photos of her family so i could uh, take that as a reference which was great yeah uh, yeah to have visuals and I love I absolutely adore looking at this process and that you um hand and um, draw and color and all of those and um, it's just such a beautiful there's a, such a softness to your illustrations and it's just really you know lots of illustrators use digital but to see this and um, what medium do you use is a pencil or watercolor or Oh, thanks, Karen. Yeah, I, I actually, um, because I'm a graphic designer, I work behind yeah. the computer and digitally all day. So for me, the doing the book illustration for children, I couldn't do any more digital. So for me, the doing it by hand is that's what I love. That's my yeah. um, uh, happy place. So I use watercolor uh, with pencil. Beautiful, um, yeah. beautiful. And then I'll scan it in and and, and tidy it up in. Uh, on the computer but I, I i love that softness and the subtleness of the watercolor uh you're saying i think it's yeah and there's just a different connection when you're doing something by hand rather than um i mean i've got my ipad and all that i could i could do it but i just uh, prefer yeah. working in my hand it's so beautiful and then you have these beautiful spreads that you can frame and that are originals and and are priceless mm -hmm. in 10 years to come you know <laughs> so it's all it's all that i love it um and it, it you know sometimes it can be a lost start but the one thing i always say about illustrators is that you are creative geniuses you are able to take words and make them visual and help with kids and, and adults connect with um with the illustrations and and you did it so beautifully in this book and i'm just going to share my screen so that people can see um just some of these gorgeous illustrations and maybe you can um talk us through some of them so here we are this is the cover um didn't we have fun with this and, and my co-host ali said why did you have pink dogs and i'm like ali they're not pink dogs they're they're ginger dogs <laughs> The color is one thing that it always changes, so it just depends how, how uh, you know you can turn colors um, uh, lighter and darker, and then yeah, they're actually more brown um, yeah. originally, but um, but in the printing process, I guess they're more pink. And why not? I guess why not? 
Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. And the, the color, like that vibrant color at the back, like it just, it really works. And I love the, the mm. butterfly analogy that just, you know, there's a deeper meaning in this book, you know, like the, the story is amazing, but yeah. the, the, the butterfly has such meaning. And we've read this page many times, you mm. know, my mind is a beautiful butterfly. My teacher says to focus here, but the butterfly is curious and wants to explore. It flits and flutters across the landscape, always moving, always searching for the next most interesting idea. And that's okay. And that's our our, our kids, isn't it? You know, the curiosity, the adventurous. Mm -hmm. And you capture it so beautifully here with the with the, the gorgeous flowers and the butterfly in motion. Um, but also you can see the community in the background. Um, can you talk to us about your how this vision came together? Yeah, I love how Kylie has really um, have, has made these complicated emotions that some, sometimes are so overwhelming and all that. She's made it simple so that mm -hmm. we can understand. And I think this book is, is not just for the kids, but it's for adults as well, because we are just uh, big kids and it's we struggle sometimes with our emotions or how to uh, manage them. And so I really love how um, it, it's made it simple and uncomplicated. So it's kind of a book that I, I think it's a serious book while being fun and um, engaging. So... Mm -hmm. um, so I try to keep that playfulness in there while um, uh, while still keeping it, you know, serious or or so that um, uh, it's meaningful. And it um, and I guess the butterfly, it's, it's the emotions are constantly moving. They're never stand, standing. They are, you know, when when you think of your thoughts, it's they're constantly moving. It's like a yeah. flow all the time. So it's how do you catch that and how do you calm that flow or, or you know, sometimes you don't want to catch it. Sometimes you just want to follow it where, where it leads you. And, and um, yeah, so it's kind of I tried to capture that. <laughs> yeah. So... Um, and, and that, that is it. That's the interpret. You know, we all have different interpretations of things and different visuals that come out of it. But that's what I adore is... And, and you work very closely with Kylie. Um, I watched the two of you work together. Just there was a few pages where you've worked really closely together just to get it so right. Now, this is a page with a lot of detail in it, you know, the, the playful puppies. There we go. And the, you know, the, 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 the cheekiness and the, you know, the, the messing and all of that. Um, but that it's okay, you know, there is that as well. So um, for these, did, is it that Kylie had a puppy or was it that you created this character yourself? It's, um, it's, I kind of thought, I mean, I've got a dog <laughs> and uh, I was fairly young and uh, I've got sons and, and, you know, it's, um, I guess my daughter is, is the same. It's, uh, you, you kind of imagine how sometimes when you got a, because it's all about when you need to focus, you you'd much rather play or your mind takes you into all these places where it seems much more more fun than uh, you know like a study or something else that you're supposed to do at the, at the time so i could just imagine that uh a cheeky puppy you know leading you astray <laughs> leading yes. you to all these places and, and rather play and have fun and um i i think puppies and, and dogs are just everybody's drawn to them right they take if, if you see a dog somewhere you it just grabs your attention and you go yeah. with it and you forget <laughs> what you were doing so yeah. um so I, I kind of tried to yeah bring that scene that it, it is messy um and um fun but it, it's it's kind of gorgeous at the same time it's it's um it is. it's beautiful visual yeah. and nice and colorful and there's still still yet the softness and i just want to talk about this one and also the monster so this is the busy blender um and the, like the visual of this is is amazing um and i know that you know you had to really think on this so how, how did this come together for you yeah i just thought um like what would it be like um 
you know, when you got the you got this because it's it's the emotion, right? Sometimes there's just so yeah. much going on, uh, whether it's all the information going in or whether you just got your own thoughts. There's just so much that it just goes everywhere, and you can't catch it, and, and it's and you feel like um, it's out of control. Um, but at the same time, it's um, it can be a kind of a beautiful chaos at the same time. So mm-hmm. I thought, you know, how it how it is to putting in um, uh, it's it's almost like a smoothie, you know, <laughs> like emotion. It is smoothie. like a smoothie. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That it's and we sweet with that. Yeah, and yeah. um, and 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 how do you catch the words and the visuals? Sometimes the words may go create this uh, blur and and sometimes it's the it's the visual things and sometimes it's the uh tangible things and it's like everything all there together and and spilling over and then because the second part of the book then is how do you deal with all that that's so the so i guess the idea was that the first part of the book uh presents the emotions that we are trying to uh, manage and then the second part of the book um, it gives us tips uh, that helps to manage that and that's what I, I really like about how Kylie has um, yeah has uh, has kind of created that flow. It's amazing. I just love it. It's an absolute wonderful mess. I love it. <laughs> and this is the last one I want to talk about, and this is the monster. Like, how do you, the, the monster mm-hmm. is obviously a mean can be a mean monster, but um, how did you, you know, this visual here is very powerful. Yeah, it was really great to work with Carly, uh, re- really, because like I made that monster uh, at the start. I made the monster yeah. really cute and kind of uh, <laughs> funny and cute, and then Carly said, "No, no, this is a scary monster." So I had yeah. to um, change that and make make it more scary. And so, um, so it was interesting to see how how um, how we both saw the monster. Yeah. You know, just reading yeah. the text and and how you visualize that. So, yeah, yeah, it was good to um, yeah. could do and the softness of his teeth. He's got little soft teeth, so he won't bite you too bad. But he's still <laughs> you enough. don't want to be too scary. <laughs> but, <laughs> Yeah. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. We have some people mm-hmm. com- um, commenting here. It's, um, Hi, Alice. Um, it's oh so gorgeous, and it is so gorgeous. And you have brought this b- book to life so beautifully. And so I want to thank you for that, for showing up and, and sharing your vision for the book and bringing it together. Um, and Kylie, this book as well, Kylie has brought together teacher's notes and everything so that yes. it's really yeah. become a very relevant book um you know for for the world right now like when we started this project what was it 18 months ago we didn't anticipate the world would be in the place it is right now when we are launching and Mm -hmm. yet it seems you know we had foresight um energetically or something like that because it is a very important book to have yeah i i yeah um yeah, I really enjoyed working on that book in a way that at the time, like I said to you before, when I was working on that, uh, I, we went through an emotional time in my family, you know, with all the what's going on at school and all these things. So it's a very relevant um, a book in lots of different situations for children. Yeah. And like I said, not just for children, but adults as well. Yeah, absolutely. It's just yeah. um, it, everyone in our lives, being a parent or being mm. a child, will connect with this book in some way. So it is just so relevant. Thank you yes. so much for joining me, Tina. Um, absolute joy. Mm. And thank you so much to everyone for watching. Go and grab your copy of this book at serenitypress.org and it will be everywhere by the end of the week on our nice mm. um, page. But please go and check out Tina. Where can everyone check you out, Tina? Thank you so much, Karen. Thank you for Carly for bringing that story into the world. Where can people find you, Tina? Uh, I've got a website. Um, I'm I'm uh, putting together my website, which is tinamorton.com.au, but at the moment I'm under possumdesign.com.au. Oh, beautiful. And you are in Perth Hills, aren't you? You're in Perth alongside... I'm in Rolly Stone, yeah. Yeah, it's beautiful, beautiful up here. Beautiful gorgeous yeah all right enjoy and thank you so much for joining me today tina thank you to everyone for watching go and grab your copy today